is good all my dudes out there, it's your boy Roxel, and welcome back to Anne. So, if you remember the last video, by the way, up here, you can watch it right here. We just finished the game, and I just found out through talking to Chaos Nightfall that there is actually a ton more endings to the game than what I did. It turns out that I have not even gotten half the achievements, so I am going to try and take this episode to 100% this game. I think I might have to go a new game. Oh, I can't skip it. Okay. Don't jump! You have so much to live for! Now that I've, like, played this game over, I'm gonna be spending the entire thing looking for secrets. Okay, so the first one, it says, Triggered a Disturbing Event Number 1. So, and it has a little picture of, like, it looks like a computer screen with hands sticking out of it. We've already read all this. I'm just not even gonna read any of it. I'm just gonna go. What about the basement? Oh, I feel like this actually might cause something. Ah, uh, there are the traffic cones or the traffic cones around this locker. I'm saying the UFC speed flash drive. We already know what goes on. And starting to nod off. We know she sleep. Hey, you bald-headed freak! You fucking asshole. We know what you did, Mr. Principal. I'm just really glad that I didn't have to like absolutely start over. Like if I like. At least I have all my save files. I'm probably still gonna end up going through the whole game again. Alright, disturbing event. Let's scare the shit out of ourselves by checking out all these computers. I feel like this is the part where I'm actually gonna get scared. Like, there's gotta be one of these computers where, like, we can actually, like, get something. Is there really nothing? I'm really tempted to search it up. You know what? Let me do that real quick. I'm gonna search it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. It says to go towards the clock. The clock hands stop exactly towards... Whoa! Hey. What... What is that? What the... No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> we got it. Okay, that's disturbing event number one. Let's take a look. Here is a teenage girl, Myra Hess. This one is um, young man. There's a small note written Charles Worth. This one, sinister painting, Hana. And then there's this one. It's a blank painting. There's a small note written below the painting. And that is one like I did not get when I first played, and that was horrible of me. No, hey, hey. Hey, someone was knocking on the window, yeah, we know. This one shatters. I'm just trying to think, like, is there a way you can get killed by Hana a little bit sooner? It's locked, I don't remember locking it. What's going on? Nice. I don't think there is one in the piano department. Because the very next one, it looks like it's in the sculpting department. Should I just speed run the game and see how far- I'm just gonna speed run this game. Wait. No, there was another fucking thing that I missed. It chases you out. This is such a beautiful soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. Thief, run, make it quick, and we're out. There's something on the floor, obtain a piano key, and get up and out of here, get up and out, and first try. Excellent, and you go, you can see the piano moving, that was kind of dope. All right, so now we can go into here, place the keys, Leave, get trapped, easy, easy. Hey, Myra, what's up, girl? Anyway, I'm Myra Hess, I was a student from the piano department. Listen, I know you are confused about what's going on with the school, but you need to get out of here now. I've heard this music before, huh? What do you mean? This music was playing at the exhibition hall, impossible. This is my original work, I composed it. Why'd she stop playing, though? There it is. 
Unless... Ivy. Right? I... I knew it! That bitch! I... I understand now. That day, before I was trapped here, she drugged me and... She stole it! You get to see those creepy pale ass hands with the black nail polish. Harangue's nightmare. And we get to see Myra Hess from the piano department, and she takes out her anger on us, even though we didn't do jack shit to her! Fuck. My hands are up right now, I'm not doing anything. I have to get out of here, yes we knew. Wait, did I accidentally say that? What did I just do? <laughs> Ah, so close. Okay, even touching the dead piano was enough, so I can just kind of slip out. Quick and easy. Forgot about that. And we're gone. My work made it to the exhibition. Oh well. She's just gonna keep on playing for all eternity. There's Hana, or her legs, or her feet. That was a loud ass footstep. <laughs> and there's Mr. Security. Hey, dude. Hi. Huh? Oh no. Uh. Hey, wait, calm down. I'm a human just like you. You're not one of them, right? I'm a security guard waiting for this goal. I can help you get out safely. All right, we're telling the story. I see. Hmm, man, well, yeah, blah, 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 blah. school is cursed every midnight. Uh, layout randomly changes floors, stuff, 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 stuff. Chapter two. Sculpting department. Sculpture. All right, we can interact with this one. A clay statue. But this one is the different one. It says interact with it. Oh? There's a door! It's locked. Wait, was this door here before? Ah! Hello? Oh! You tried knocking on the door. No response. Let's just leave. <laughs> That's actually dope! Alright, we need the clay key. Nice and easy. Get the clay key. Let's just charge right through and go right into the locks. Get the key. Get through. Go through here. Here, key to success. Hands, legs, bodies, heads. One. Uh, six bodies, four, bang. Talk to success, we know we get the clay, and we get the sculpting tools, good luck. Thank you, thank you. All right, now we can just go through here, we grab the clay. Ah, fuck me. Clay here, we got the clay. Clay, clay. <sighs> I'm pretty sure this actually is supposed to chase us all the way here, but I don't know. What are you doing? We brought some clay. We're gonna fucking fix you. I said, leave me alone. Cool cutscene. So that gives me time to set up for the next one. Simple. Okay, so this is the one where I had the most trouble. So like, oh wait. Uh, that's not gonna let me win. Yeah. All right, run. Down. Through. Down. Good. And don't. T Aw, no. Oh, I actually made it. <laughs> I can't believe I made it. Okay, and we can use those boxes. 
Okay, so we can take our we can take a little bit more time with this than we tried before. Okay, up and at him, get down. And we can just go. <laughs> and then there's this one. Are you kidding me? Yep, we just go here. Hey failure. You're not a failure. You look amazing. You look real creepy and that's cool shit. And barely make it out. Here we go. Hmm? Ann? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm tired too. Let's rest for a bit. Cool. We get that cutscene that I honestly do not want to go through again. She's just trying to cover ears and not listen. We find out that they completely abandon her because her parents are horrible. Uh, she... Not having a good time. Wait a minute. About your job as a security guard. Why do I decide to keep working as a security guard despite everything that's going on with the school? Well, the principal has employed me to be a fail-safe in case any students break the school rules and remain in the school after midnight. The chances are very slim, but yeah, and you're, here you are. I have to make sure that er anyone who ends up here gets out safely. Besides, there's no way that I can just ignore everything that's going on, right? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Is there anything else that I need to know? Oh, right, Anne, there's something that I forgot to tell you. Uh, you see, time works differently in this place. I'm not entirely sure, but from my observations while patrolling this place, I can safely assume that it changes from day to day. There was one day when it took just an hour for morning to come, and another when it took 48 hours. It was a horrible experience. So, if we are lucky, maybe morning will arrive soon. Anyway, we still have to find the exit in case the worst case scenario happens. Got you, got you. Let's go. Why aren't you following me? So, it follows. You see Hannah again, or Hana. What is it pronounced? Chapter 3. Fashion department. Got you. Disturbing event number 3. So, it's a picture of a mannequin. So, it's probably, if we talk to this, a mannequin. A mannequin. A sewing machine. A sewing machine. Hey, a mannequin. Weird, did it move? A potted plant. A potted plant! A potted plant! A mannequin! A mannequin! A mannequin! And I have a bad feeling about this. Let's keep moving. Nah. A mannequin! A mannequin! Okay, what are you doing? Where'd it go? Whoa! That actually scared me. Okay, well, we got it. Take the skirt. Yes, take it. Inspect box. Obtain a scarf. Ah, uh, why don't I remember? Okay. Wake him up. Hey, Charles. Get the coat. Dress up these nice mannequins. Skirt. Scarf. You, oh, Mr. Coat, Mr. Scarlet Little Scarf, how I missed you guys. I think I, oh, wait a minute. Is there a way that I can, like, a mannequin? Okay, so we can't interact with it. That sucks. I was hoping that was going to be a secret. I'm pretty sure it was left, right, B, D, there we go. Yeah, now we are going to get to see Charles Worth looking like the doll head from Toy Story. Charles Worth Fashion Department. Here is where my ears get blown out. Hello, Mr. Security Guard! Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we get to see how creepy he is. Hide and seek, uh... And stay with me. Wait, secrets. A mannequin. Sewing machine. Okay, and this one was the one where I had to do this. Okay, come and find me. Enough of this, Charles. So this one is pretty simple. Once you are not an idiot like me and you actually recognize the patterns. So this one, you go up and down. It's pretty simple. This one just goes zoomy, zoomy, noomy, noomy. And we can get up here. Too slow, Mr. Security. Too slow. What? Fuck you. Hey! Go up top, down low, in the middle. Too slow. 
All right, go to the side. I got you now. <laughs> you think so? And he gets lost again. <laughs> wow. Just make it nice and easy. Come on, Mr. Security. Is that the best you can do? Stop running. <laughs> and he gets lost. Go up through here. Ooh, I almost got hit. Hey, dude. And we made it. Thanks. And let's go now. What the? Hey, wait. No. Wait in the middle. Go down. Oh, wow. That was easy. That was really horrible. Why is it randomized, though? Why does it have to be randomized? Nice. Easy. And we are out. Yep, 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 yep. We're good. There's Hana again. I'm going with Hana. I don't know if that's actually right, but I'm going with it. It looks like we got away from him. Are you okay, Anne? We should be safe here. Let's... Uh, I didn't get to read it. So close. And... And I don't know where to go in the dark garage. Okay, so the next spot is through the exhibition hall. So I have to speed run this. There's Hana. Oh, scary. It's her. Keep calm. Keep calm. And she dips. We get another tentacle mannequin. Security! Hey, it's the security guard. Go away. I'm busy. <laughs> Still patrolling the halls, huh? Why are you here anyway? Hey, answer me. I really have no time for this. Do you think you can- Shut up. Huh? <laughs> You're annoying. We get to run through this. I haven't edited this part yet, so... I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Wait a minute. What, what's over here? Oh, it's just a bunch of random shit. Let's put this on file six just so we can... Just in case. Hey. Charles, what are you doing here? This is not the fashion department. <laughs> I'm not done with you. Huh? Where's the girl? Where is she? Tell me or else. Or else what? This. Oh shit! <laughs> Simple. Another door. I think this is far enough. I should go back to Anne. That was Anne's voice. Yes, it was. More like a screech, but it's fine. So she is very much alive, quite shy, good at drawing, I understand, thank you for calling, cool. What do you want to be when you grow up? I see interesting before that. Do you want to go to an art school? She wake up. There, Hannah. Impressive. You survived the piano department, the sculpting department, and the fashion department. I wonder how much longer you can survive. <laughs> And what happened? Are you okay? Hugs. And I know you're scared, but we really have no time for conversations like this. It's getting really dangerous here. We should get moving now before she comes again. They just kind of chill and walk through. Easy, easy. Hmm? What is it, Anne? Oh, yeah, I destroyed them. What? Don't worry too much about it. They're just artworks. They were going to harm us anyway. Let's go. Okay. Here we are. I've checked the entire floor except this door. I don't know what lies up ahead, but... The exit of this forsaken place must be somewhere behind that door. I have a good feeling about this. It's almost over. Just a little bit more. Let's go, Anne. Yeah. What happens if I hit this button? It won't budge. Okay. The memories of Myra Hess. View them? Yes, I would. Love to. This has got to be something. Hey, who do you think is going to be selected for the exhibition? It's obviously going to be Myra, right? Yep, Myra, no doubt. Yeah, there's no way we can compete against her. Yeah, man, she's so talented. It's as if she was born to be a pianist. Oh well, there's nothing we can do about it. That's got to be Ivy. Don't you think that it's unfair, guys? Huh? What do you mean, Ivy? You heard me. We worked so hard, and yet it all seems to be so futile. No matter how much we try, there's no winning against her. She was born with talent. Well, that's true. It is what it is. Yeah, 
I say we level the playing field. Huh? What do you mean? As of now, she seems so perfect and flawless. A good student who does all her work and excels at everything. What if we change that? What a bitch. Where are you going with this, Ivy? If we change that good student image of hers, maybe the teachers will think twice about selecting her for the exhibition. She really is a bitch. You know what I mean? Mm. That was loud. Sorry. Hello. Yo, Myra. Hey, Ivy. What's up? Oh, man. <laughs> the purple eyes. Have you done the assignment for this week? Yeah. Have you? Not yet. Anyway, I was getting a drink at the vending machine, and I accidentally brought bought the wrong drink. It's... Pff, Fanta. Just say Fanta at that point. I really don't like Fanta. You want it? You like Fanta, don't you, Myra? Um, yeah, are you giving it to me? Yeah, it would be a waste to throw it away, right? You can have it. Are you sure? I mean, it's okay. My treat. Thanks, Ivy. I appreciate it. No problem. Oh, man. You see her crossing her arms as she walks away. She takes sip of soda. Ooh. Fuck. Uh, stay away. Stay away. This isn't okay. <laughs> Let's see. This week's assignment. Found it. Deleting assignment 2 from desktop. Hmm. What is this? Final year project draft 1. She's going to sleep for a while, which means... <laughs> Myra, my dear, you know you can't stay in the school after 9 p.m., right? Breaking the school's rules? Oh my, what a bad girl. Hehehehe, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a bitch. Principal just walks right by... Doesn't see the massive fucking blanket, the size, like, at least half the size of the piano. Ivy, what did you do to her? Nothing, I didn't do anything to her. She's been missing for a week. Listen, Ivy, I dislike her too. I dislike her for always being at the top of the class. We're all jealous of her, but this isn't right. Like I said, I didn't do anything, so stop pestering me. Did something happen that night? This doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, you fucking murdered her, basically. And after much consideration from the teachers of Federalism with the principal, looking over the submitted pieces, it's clear that we have an obvious winner for the exhibition, Ivy. Congratulations, Ivy. <clears throat> with that said, class is dismissed for the day. Good work, everyone. Ivy, the piece you submitted, that was Myra's piece, right? Yeah, you could fool the teachers, but not us. Her style is so distinctive, there's no way that's yours. What happened to Myra? Did she just give you her work? You know what? I don't care. I'm out of here. Me too. I want no part in this. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you feel great, don't you, you bitch? The memories of success. View them? Hell yeah. What is up with... This dude's eyes are like... He got them insane eyes. This is impressive. It's perfectly symmetrical. No way. How did you do it, James? D oh my god. You look like you never sleep. Look at this dude. He looks like he constantly has a taser up his ass that just shocks him if he ever goes to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I guess you could say my plan to create a perfectly symmetrical statue was a success. Oh, come on, guys. I've been waiting all year to use that joke. It's not a joke. Still, good job on the statue, James. I think your statue is a strong candidate to be selected for the exhibition. <laughs> you think so? Thank you. <clears throat> this one? Yes. Well, uh, this is... something. I know. Shut up. If I choose this for the exhibition, I'm sure it will ra raise lots of questions. Listen, you are going to keep your end of the deal, or I am reporting you to the police. Hey, calm down. I'll do it, okay? Now let's get out of here before anyone sees us. Whatever. Where are we going today? 
I booked a nice hotel for us tonight. Oh my fucking god. So it's not just with that one girl. Oh god, you're gonna love it. Go to hell. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I hate that dude. What? Her work has been chosen for the exhibition? How? This is a joke, right? It's possible. Our decision is final. Class is dismissed for the day. Success. You are not a success. You are a failure! Okay, so that really explains a lot. So James is not a real artist. The memories of Charles Worth, view them. Let's see. Charles Worth just always looked crazy. Should I use the same voice? Oh, this is gorgeous. This one is cute. Oh, oh, this one, this one, this is impressive. Oh, I want to wear them all. Charles, please don't touch them. They're not yours. Ugh, oh, you are no fun. What a weirdo. The school is closing soon. Pack your things and go home, Charles. Hmm. <laughs> also, why is he a weirdo for wanting to wear different clothes? He's a weirdo for the way he acts. Wait. I have an idea. A brilliant idea. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone's going to hear me through the wall and then just be like, I'm crazy. He's hiding in a locker. He's hiding in a locker. <laughs> I know this is breaking the school rule, but screw it. <laughs> now, now, which one first? <laughs> this is so exciting. I want to be a voice actor. The coat is a lot better with the rest of the outfit. The skirt just didn't match any colors. Oh my, that was one of the best days of my life! <sighs> ah, it's past midnight already. I didn't even realize. Little did he know. Huh? What the hell? What happened with the school? This is gonna say her name. The memories of Anne, coming soon. They're just taunting us at this point. Wait, is there something I can do? Let's go here, save it, and we will put this in file seven. Okay, in case, just in case. Yeah, there we go. So we go behind all the paintings and interact with them. You are being watched. I should look at the painting from the front. Huh. Memories of set. Oh, no thanks. Okay, so it has to be the paintings. Something is not right with the paintings. I should look at it from the front. You feel an eerie presence. You know what they say about curiosity. <laughs> Oh, just out of interest, I want to see if I can escape that, though, and get out. Probably not. But, we gonna try. You know what they say about curiosity? And, yep. Oh! So you can't escape. Okay. Alright, principal's office. Enter? What if I say no and go back? Okay, let's go. Principal's office, enter? Yes. It's a dead end, can't be right, maybe it took a wrong turn put on a hoodie, but... Nah. Huh? How'd you do that? T turn on the what? Um, sorry, I'm really bad at this. Oh, has my mouse been there the whole time? What is that, Anne? A video file? Clara, is everything alright? Hmm? Yeah, everything is a-okay. No, it's not. Clara, you're such a bad liar. Here? Are you crazy? What if we get caught? 
Hey, it's safe. Trust me, no one comes here at this hour. Fucking asshole. What were you doing in the car with Clara? I'm calling the police. No, you are not. Uh, and she did. So the asshole decides to pick him up, pick her up, pick, pick them up, stuff locker, and leave. Principal, I will kill you. Can we please just like, I want to kill this man. I knew it. I knew I wasn't hallucinating. Hello. Principal, I am going to take you with me along with this rotten school. We shall see. She could have killed him right then and there and that would have been it. This is insane. So that's how it all began. Huh? Can I walk out this way? Where are you going, Ann? Well, uh, let's just head out. I have a bad feeling about this. Are you ready, Ann? No. Where are you going? I don't know. All right, I guess we're ready. Chapter five, the finale. Okay. Ann, wait. This place, I've never been here before. What's going on here? Ann, be careful. Okay, so, survive the wrath of Hana, and then we got four more after that. Take the key near the end and use it to open the locker. Let's go. Leave. No. Turn back. Not another step. Shut up, Hana. Last warning. Leave or I will kill you. That locker. It can't be. Stop! Take this and never come back. Obtain the master key. Now go back to where you came from. Is there anything on these sides? No. No. Okay, so we have to. You open the locker. This is. No, 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 no! How dare you? What the? And hold on to me. What the fuck? Anne? Are you okay? Where are we? The digital arts department? You mean we're back on the fifth floor? What the hell? There is Hannah, Hana. Oh, that's creepy. Time to go. Okay, so now we gotta run. And, okay, let's go to file eight and dip. Oh no. Oh man, this is gonna be fun, creepy, and cool, and shit. Oh no, 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 no. Please, please, no. Please, no. Please and thanks. Leave me alone. Hana. Hana. Oh no, I'm gonna die. So close. I almost first tried that one. Yep. She gave us some time, how nice. Okay. Don't touch the blood stains, we know how this works. Uh. Okay, so only push the only push these statues one time. What the hell happened? Did I break this? <laughs> immediate. It was fucking immediate. Aw, oh, man. I'm out. How am I not dead? Don't touch the blood stains. And if you have to. Aw. Oh. 
don't touch the blood stains. I mean, I was right about Hana being the scariest one, but like, I was completely wrong about like how we would be doing this. <sighs> Hey, I made it! Ah, uh, that was... shitty. Alright, up. Right. Come on! Yes! Oh, no, I didn't do anything! It won't budge! And the key, use the key! What? You, you dropped the key? Where? We can't stay here. We should... Oh... And run! No! No! No. No. He's not dead. You felt pain all over your body. No. No response. He's unconscious. Okay. I can deal with unconscious. I can't run. Obtained the master key. So tired. I have to keep going. Is this the way to the exit? Ugh, let's take this one. Oh wait, 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 wait. Save. File nine. Because I have a feeling that's something else. Uh, oh. Unconscious. I can deal with unconscious as long as he's not dead. Oh god. Hmm. The door is gone. Oh no, no. I was just about to say if I can't run, it's dead silent. That's actually like creepy. Is this ending 3? Wait. Does that say Anne? Oh no. I think I'm gone. I'm just going to keep on walking forever, aren't I? Oh wait. Can I Unknown memories. View them? Yes. Please. The school fees? Don't worry about it, Anne. Our orphanage has a special privilege from the government when it comes to education fees. Just make sure you work hard and study well, okay? Don't mess around after school and come back home on time. Anne? Anne? Where are you? Where'd you go? Please come back. We miss you. No. It's getting darker. No, no, don't black out, don't black out. Keep going. Anne. No. Oh no. The new resident of the school. That was ending three. The end? Question mark? No, it's not the end. Because... We're still here, and we're gonna go up. You feel very dizzy. It's the digital arts department classroom. No, this is not the exit. Okay, so we have to try and find our way out. Piano department classroom, not the exit. Ah, uh, the heart pounding. Sculpting department. She's just bone tired, oh my god. Fashion department, not the exit, okay. Oh, Campus 2! We made it! Where am I? Oh, cutscene. What? Security? 
Just... No! Is he dead? He's... No. Security traditional painting department? No, 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 no. Don't tell me I have to run from him. Anne, there you are. Are you okay? Don't wander around without me. It's dangerous. Anne. Anne, wait! File 10. Anne? What are you doing? No. Retry? I'm gonna let myself get caught. Your turn. No, don't retry. Anne? Oh, man. Anne, are you hurt? You must have been really tired to collapse so suddenly like that. Yes, I lied. I am one of them. I... I have never met the principal. I had no idea what he looked like. I have never been outside the school. I have been wandering around this place for as long as I can remember. I knew you would have reacted like that. That's why I didn't tell you. But I'm not lying when I said I will get you out of here. I promised and I will fulfill that promise. So you won't be one of them. There will be no more humans trapped here. For as long as I am here. Man. Just sleeping on the sidewalk. <laughs> you can't remember what you were doing. You were confused and tried to recall what happened. As much as you tried, you failed to remember anything that happened over the past few hours. You decided to head home. Why did you help her? You know what I said about humans that are trapped in this place, right? You were supposed to bring them to me, not help them escape. The state of being free from danger or threat. Huh? The state of feeling safe, stable, and free from fear or anxiety. That's what my name means. Yo! I read that in a book somewhere in the library. My creator designed me, and I am based on a real-life person that they respected. To protect and to keep everyone safe. That's what my creator wanted me to be, and that's what I intend to do. Don't. I understand. You have a grudge with the principal. But there's no need to involve the innocent humans who have become accidentally trapped here. Let them out, and let them be free. They have nothing to do with this. Who do you think you are? You are just a painting. What do you know about humans? Do you think you can just oh, disobey me and get away with it? Go ahead. Do whatever you want. I will still rescue the next human and set them free. No, you won't. Man, be safe. No! Oh my god. So that's got to be the ending for painting a sacrifice. There's another. Oh man.
Yeah, painting sacrifice. That was ending for. Oh, that sucked. Are you kidding me? That actually like. That hurts. Yes, yes, I want to retry. What? Like this is, this is crazy. And what are you doing? What you taught me. Why didn't it work? I swear, if I have to do this all at once... That is some horse shit. You also can't run, so like, that's not helpful. This actually, like, hurts. Why the hell are we running from him? He looks fine. I mean, I guess maybe that's part of, like, deception or something. Maybe we can, like... Okay. And, listen to me. Not yet, motherfucker. At least we know how to do it now when we also know that it's pretty easy. This music is not helping, like, I'm actually getting, like, feels from this shit. You feel exhausted. No, leave me alone. You can barely move your legs. Anne, please stop and listen to me. She just gave up. No. Yes, I am one of them. I didn't tell you because I knew this would happen. But I'm not like them. I won't hurt you. I'm here to help you. So please, listen to what I have to say. When I gained consciousness for the first time, I was confused and didn't know what to do. It was... odd. It's hard to describe. I felt like I didn't belong here. Everyone else was the same. We were told to patrol the school and to look out for any humans. Yes. I have never met the principal. I don't even know what he looks like. I only heard about him from Myra and Charles. Same case for the 9pm rule. I have never been outside the school. I've been wandering around this place for as long as I can remember. I made up those stories to gain your trust. You have every right to be angry and want nothing to do with me anymore. I will get you out of here safely and you will never hear from me again. Why am I doing this? Well. Anne, do you know what my name means? <laughs> Correct. Did you get the chance to read the description plaque under my painting? My creator made me and based me on a real-life person that they respected. A security guard that kept everyone safe. I just thought maybe that's what my creator wanted me to be. But... I don't know, Anne. How do we turn the school back to normal? Anne, I don't think that's possible. Unless... 
Yes, Hana is the key, but... You want to appease Hana? How? By bringing the principal to this place. Is that even possible? The principal's office. Sure, but the school layout has changed again, so we may have to do some exploring to find his office. I don't know what you were planning, but let's go. Alright. We're gonna destroy this motherfucker. We're gonna kill him. Find security in that girl. Find them at all costs. Hano's gonna kill us all if we don't find them. I don't wanna die. Me too, I don't wanna die. Find them, find them. Oh shit. The school is on high alert now. We really pissed her off, huh? And are you sure about this? <laughs> yeah. We have come this far. There's no turning back anyway. Let's go. Get lost, bitch! Oh shit, they almost got me. Wait a minute, hold on. Save, file 13. Got it. Uh-oh. Keep moving, that's right. So he should be going through, up and through, up and through. Get lost. Yes. No, it's failure. We gotta get around him. Aw, oh, no. Shit, how do we do that? We gotta use... I think we gotta use the statues. Ah. Oh. Well, that's definitely the way we gotta go, then. I can't think of any other reason that they would have the one thing that's actually, like, a serious deterrence and could actually, like, chase you. Unless it was intended to be so that was your hint of this is where you need to go. Oh. Oh, I snuck by him. Yeah. Easy. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, we have to do this all over again, don't we? I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt you, but Hana said she's going to kill us if we don't bring you to her. Mr. Security, you've really done it this time. No more games, it's all pain now. And let me handle this. Get lost. Out of my way. This soundtrack is amazing. Just give up already. So do I have to like try and break all of them? If I leave any, would they, like... Mr. Security Guard, why are you helping her? Yes, why? All of us are gonna die if you keep resisting, including you. Enough. Do you want to be trapped here forever? Don't you want to get out from this place? I want to, but that's not possible. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We are permanent residents of the school. I know that. I thought it was impossible, too. Until recently, Ann and I learned that there's actually a way to appease Hana and lift her curse from this school. Huh? <laughs> Look at her fucking face! She looks like a basic character from As Death movies. Really? How? Yes, it's possible. The principal is the key. Everything that is happening in the school now is because of the principal. The principal? I don't understand. You don't have to. Just let us through and we will bring this nightmare to an end. Should we fail, we will surrender ourselves without resistance to Hana. You have my word. I, I want to get out of here. I can help you distract Hana and buy some time. Me, me too. If there's really a way to get out of here, then I won't stop you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go, Ann. Thanks, guys. Let's do this. I can't believe my bluff actually worked. Alright, Ann. What are we looking for here? You don't know yet? Uh, I'll let you do your thing. Let me know if you need help. Okay. So we gotta start looking. There are many school documents. None of them seem useful. After hearing from the 
this edition. You have name card. The principal's phone number is written on the back of the card. Done. The phone. You pick up the phone and dial 911. No response. You try dialing the phone. Try dialing the principal's phone number. Hello? What the? Who is this? Who the hell is calling me at 3 a.m.? I'm an Ann. So, what the hell do you want? school please help me what are you serious don't you know about the 9 p.m. school rule wait if you're in the school now that means yes the school is cursed please help me shit, shit where why did you see me first place wait how did you get my number I was hiding in your office and I found your name card my office I thought I locked it and why didn't you call the police first you want me to call the police no don't call the police they will just complicate things even further <sighs> fine I'm coming just wait there okay yeah we gonna kill this motherfucker He's coming here? For real? Oh wow, that was easier than I thought. So, what do we do now? Right, let's go. So that's the plan, simple enough, right? Woohoo, let's do it! Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Whatever happens with the principal after this is up to Han. Is that him? Yes, that's him. That's the principal. He is really here. All right, Anne. You know what to do. Hello. All right, motherfucker. It's go time. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> ah, hey. Are you the one who called? Yeah, I am. Hello? Hey, answer me. I don't have time for this. Not another step. Huh? Who are you? What the... Sorry, principal. Don't look sad. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Principal. Uh, no. No. <laughs> yeah! Die, you son of a bitch. So what does that mean? Did we get him? Well, is everyone alright? Yes. What happened to them? I don't know. Everyone, thank you. The principal will get his punishment. I... I'm sorry for everything. I hope you will forgive me. Farewell. What? Hey! They're all good! Huh? My body. Did we... Yes. I don't feel a presence in this school anymore. Wait, but how is he still here? He's He was just a painting. We did it! Yes, we really did it! We are free! I can't believe it! We can finally leave this place! The nightmare is finally over! We can go home now! Yay! Thank you, everyone. You have no idea how much this means to me. I, I can't thank you guys enough. I know this is very sudden, but I have to go now. My parents, they must have been worried sick about me. Mom, Dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, guys. Sorry for back then. It's okay, Charles. You were under Hana's influence. I know, still. Thank you very much. I really thought I would be trapped here forever. I am I'm going now. You should get going, too. With Hana gone, this place will disappear soon. See ya. Please. This time, come with us. Please. It's finally over, huh? Like you said, Hana's curse has been lifted. The school will return to normal soon. Anne? I'll escort you to the exit. Let's go. Please say that he can come with us. I know he's just a painting, but like... There it is. That's the exit, Anne. We did it. What a journey. Anne? What will happen to me? Well, that doesn't matter. Let's get you out of here. No, it does matter. Once morning comes, I will turn back into a painting again, just like all the other artworks. Anne, you know I can't come with you. Come on! No worries. 
If you miss me, we could still meet at Campus 2 Exhibition Hall. I'll be there all day for your public viewing. <laughs> no. Be a good girl and stay safe out there, okay? God, no. Hmm? Selfie? What's that? Oh, nice. Look at the lens. Which one's the lens? Yes! Oh, wow. That's a portrait painting of us. That's very interesting. Such a small device is capable of doing that? Huh? No! And you have to get out of here now. Oh shit. Don't worry about me. I'll remember our time together. I won't forget you. Take care of yourself out there, okay? Goodbye, Ann. No. can't remember what you were doing. Hey, someone else just came from out from the school. What the, Another person? You were confused and tried to recall what happened. As much as you tried, you failed to remember anything that happened over the past few hours. What have both of you done to me? As I said, I have done nothing to you. I was just as clueless as you are. The last thing I remember was that I was doing some fashion assignment at my class, and then I think I fell asleep. Then somehow I ended up outside the school, just like you. I don't, re I don't know her, and I certainly don't know who you are. What about you? What were you doing in the school? You were asleep in your classroom. Is that all? That's weird. That's what I remembered, too. I was doing some assignment, and then I fell asleep in the classroom. Maybe one of the staff carried us outside while we were sleeping. That's why we can't remember anything other than sleeping in the class. Look, all of us broke the school rules, so let's just call it a day and go home, okay? I'm not going to report any of you, so both of you better not snitch on me. Uh, fine. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> what the hell is her problem? Hey, you should get going too. We're going to be in huge trouble if someone from the school sees us here. Why can't I remember anything? She forgot security. No, that's... This has got to be ending five. Missing or escaped, where is he now? Several months later, okay. And, was it? Thank you for your waiting. Unfortunately, there is a problem with our internet connection. Can you go to Campus 2 instead? You can still pay the school fees at the administration office located at Campus 2. We're sorry for the inconvenience. It's James. Can I help you? Are you here to admire this ugly statue too? Sorry, that was mean. I'm an alumnus of the sculpting department. I came here to collect some stuff that I left last year. Hey, you have heard of the news, right? Turns out the statue was chosen by the principal because the student who made it slept with him. The spot should have been for my statue. My statue was flawless. I, I knew something was off. Sorry, please just ignore me. Hana. Hmm? What are you looking at? Have we met before? No, I don't think so. Me? I'm Clara. I'm an alumnus from the traditional painting department. What am I doing here? This is none of your business. Did you paint security? Oh, Anne. Hello. Sorry I didn't see you there. It's been a crazy school year, huh? The principal's scandal. The body in the basement. And the unsolved mystery of how in the world did I go missing for an entire year? It's really hard to take in at first, 
but it's the reality. I have to repeat a year. The same goes for Charles. And the music that's playing on the piano right there was my... No, never mind. It's a beautiful piece, isn't it? And do you think we went through a cryostasis or some kind of hibernation process that night? I mean, the last thing we remembered was sleeping in our classroom, so maybe, you know, maybe there are more secrets that the principal is hiding from us? I can't think of any other logical explanation. <laughs> Never mind. See you around, Anne. Yeah, totally. Oh, Anne, what's up? Yeah, it's been a while, huh? Me? I'm fine. It sucks having to repeat a year, though. The police are still investigating our case, but there's really nothing to investigate. Still, I can't believe I was missing for over a year. I thought it was a prank at first, but there's even a wanted poster and everyone said it was the truth. Like, what the hell? The same happened. Same thing happened with Myra. That makes me wonder, Anne. The three of us were there that night, but you were the only one who hadn't gone missing. What the hell really happened that day? Uh, sorry, me and my musing again. <laughs> anyway, you have things to do? Alright, see you around. Security. Traditional painting department. A painting titled Security. Somehow looking at it makes you feel sad. Please remember. One unsafe file has been recovered successfully. Yes. I'm excited. Yes! Oh my god. Who is this? When did I... Wait. What? Yes! She remembers! Is the painting gonna move? Is it gonna move? Or is she... Achievement unlocked, thank you. Yep, that was ending five, okay. So, I am gonna make sure to put this at the end of the video because, like, that was easily the best ending that we could have asked for. Oh, we can't skip it, okay, so. I don't know what else, like, so by the time, like, you see this part, we will have gone through everything else. Um, I'm putting this at the end of the video, so like, yeah. Um, but yeah, there are there are some more things that I have to do, but yeah, for you, this is the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this series. I know I have. This is like an amazing game, absolutely phenomenal game, um, which is something that like, you don't really get, like, really, really good games for free most of the time. So I'm honestly, like, really, like, glad that I decided to play this. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> there... Hey, Everett, Jace, uh, if you want to support the game, please consider checking out the Digital Art Book DLC at the Steam Store page. Thank you for supporting, and thank you for playing the game course well yeah so um that is going to be it for this video and for this entire series i am amazed that like like i need to check out more games by this dude because like he managed to help me get like an emotional connection to the characters like that quickly and i don't know exactly how long it took but i'm pretty sure the game only takes like an hour or so to play so like that's impressive that he managed to do that I don't really know what else to say like I still really 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 want to know was it Clara who painted security cuz like if it was that would be so cool I I'm fairly positive it was Clara but like I really wish I could figure that out for sure maybe something in one of the other achievements would help uh, find that out but I am 
I guess we will see. Or I will see. You already have seen. <laughs> Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching, and thank y'all so much for all your support during this series. If you liked this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to join the Legion, and I will see y'all in the next video.